the incompatibility of Harmony OS with Android marks a significant turning point for Chinese domestic operating systems in the realm of the Internet. Major players in China, including NetEase, Meituan, Weibo, and ByteDance, are actively seeking Harmony OS software development engineers to craft tailored versions for the operating system. This move indicates that Huawei's Harmony OS has embarked on a comprehensive campaign to distance itself from Android. Consequently, the Chinese internet industry is witnessing a surge in new job opportunities. Media sources indicate that companies such as NetEase and Meituan are providing salaries between 40,000 yen and 60,000 yen to attract Harmony OS developers. The rise of Harmony OS has led to increased job opportunities, challenging the dominance of Apple's iOS and Android in the Chinese operating system market. Looking ahead, the coexistence of iOS, Android, and Harmony OS is expected to gain momentum, reshaping the landscape. While China has a history of domestic operating systems, the key obstacle is establishing a robust application ecosystem for these native platforms. The Kylin operating system, a collaborative effort involving institutions like the National University of Defense Technology, the Ideal C Group, China Soft International Group, and the Inspur Group, entered the scene early on. However, its journey towards commercialization has faced challenges. The simple reason behind this struggle lies in the dominance of major system ecosystems, Microsoft's Windows, Apple's iOS, and Google's Android. Internet application companies, deeply rooted in these ecosystems, lack the motivation to create Kylan-specific applications due to the absence of a comprehensive application ecosystem. The absence of bundled interests makes it difficult for these companies to see profitability in supporting the Kylan system. With minimal incentive for engaging in the development of the application ecosystem, Huawei hastily introduced Harmony OS in 2019 amid U.S. sanctions. In its initial phase, Harmony OS lacked an independent application ecosystem. To address this challenge, the only viable option was to ensure compatibility with Android. Achieving this compatibility required substantial utilization of Android's open source underlying code. Unfortunately, global restrictions imposed by the United States resulted in Huawei losing its overseas market during this period. To endure, they were compelled to adopt this strategy. During that period, numerous professional programmers raised doubts about Huawei, questioning whether Harmony OS was merely an Android variant with a different interface. However, apart from Apple, few dared to fully distance themselves from Android, even if Huawei were to introduce an entirely new domestic operating system. It risked being perceived as just another version of the Kylan operating system. The compatibility with Android was seen as a temporary measure for Huawei, crucial during a specific phase. It not only served as a transitional bridge, but also functioned as the optimal choice for Harmony OS. This approach allowed them to navigate the transition while simultaneously laying the technological groundwork for a complete replacement. Huawei's technological progress was swift, marked by the successive introduction of a compiler for Harmony OS software development and the establishment of the Huawei Developer Alliance. Xiaomi pioneered the IoT landscape by creating the Harmony Microkernel employing a distributed architecture, and incorporating the Penguin AI model into Harmony OS for seamless IoT integration. While Xiaomi initially thrived in the IoT ecosystem through Android, their self-developed surge OS is poised for deployment in Xiaomi automobiles. Harmony OS has offered Xiaomi a fresh perspective, suggesting that creating a domestic OS doesn't demand radical innovation. Instead, deep customization of Android's open source code coupled with internal development of non-open source components proves effective. The technology, once publicly accessible, is a shared resource for all of humanity. Both Americans and Chinese individuals can utilize it. While Google owns the core code of the Android system, the open source code, available to all, is a global asset. By independently developing and completing the non-open source core code, it becomes feasible to establish an operating system outside Google's control, yet compatible with the Android ecosystem. By adopting this strategy, Huawei has paved the way for companies like Xiaomi and Oppo to explore new opportunities. Almost overnight, Xiaomi introduced the Surge OS, and Oppo developed the Pantheon OS, liberating themselves from Google's technological constraints. These companies can now promote their own operating systems through hardware sales within the IoT ecosystem. 
Huawei's strategic expansion includes a smart selection of products such as vehicles, TVs, watches, smartphones, and smart locks, all equipped with the Harmony OS. Four years of development, the total number of Harmony OS devices has surpassed 600 million. With such a substantial user base, a qualitative transformation becomes inevitable, making Harmony OS impossible to ignore. The Harmony OS application ecosystem is now well established, prompting major internet companies to create dedicated versions for Harmony OS to ensure their presence on its screens. Xiaomi presents a promising opportunity to establish an expansive application ecosystem surpassing even Huawei in breadth. Notably, Xiaomi's array of smart home products extends beyond Huawei's offerings, encompassing diverse items such as TVs, rice cookers, air conditioners, washing machines, grips, smart locks, computers, and even automobiles. In the era of the Internet of Things, Chinese operating systems exemplified by Huawei's Harmony OS and Xiaomi's Emma UI have the potential to liberate themselves from the dominance of iOS and Android, paving the way for independent growth. In the realm of computers, Windows takes the lead, while Apple and Android vie for supremacy in the mobile phone arena. However, the landscape of smart homes and smart cars is more varied with a larger market than computers and smartphones combined. Huawei has the potential to forge its unique path, and the future might witness the emergence of a third Chinese IoT operating system platform, diversifying the landscape even further. On the global development of Chinese technology after viewing our video are valuable. Share your opinions and ideas in the comments section below. Your subscriptions and likes serve as motivation for us to continue producing new and insightful videos. Thank you for being part of our community.